If you grow up in New Jersey, and a lot of other states for that matter, and you're in the arts and entertainment world, the point is to get out of here and make it big over there in New York City. We're going to visit an old friend of mine right now who has put that notion in reverse. His name is Jonathan Levine, a working class punk rock kid from Trenton who was, as the title of the book about him suggests, delusional enough to think that he could someday earn a living curating and selling the type of art that he loved. Lowbrow or pop surrealism, call it what you will, it doesn't really have a name. You know what? He pulled it off from a small place in New Hope, Pennsylvania, and then to Philly, and then 12 years in the Chelsea neighborhood of Manhattan, the epicenter of the art world. The Jonathan Levine Gallery is moving up once again to Jersey City. Welcome back to Jersey. Thanks, man. <laughs> Good to be here. I'm psyched about Jersey City and like the excitement and the, the energy of what it's become, but also I have access to the greater New Jersey as well, which is also really exciting for me. This is a piece by an artist I've been working with forever. His name is AJ Fawcett. He lives in Portland, Oregon. By the time he set up shop in New York, Levine found himself at the vanguard of an explosion in street and pop art, connecting underground artists like Shepard Ferry with art buyers that included sportswear CEOs and Hollywood stars. But I still know him as the guy I drank with and boxed with in Trenton. And the great thing about Jonathan is he's still both of those things. If you're from Jersey, they're really excited. And if they're not, they're really curious, but it's been overwhelmingly positive, which was surprising to me, because I thought for sure I'd have this negative backlash, oh, you're moving to Jersey. Now, it's possible people are saying that, but nobody's saying it to me. I want to show you employees what I did to your boss's face many years ago. <laughs> nice. But I won. You did win the fight. I did win the fight. I'm sorry. He was dressed up as the Easter Bunny, and I dressed ago. up as Santa Claus. And we had the battle of the holiday heavyweights. Yeah, that's right. As big of a move as this is for Levine, it's also a great move and a great deal for Jersey City. I want it to be this thing that's where when people look back like five years from now, they're gonna be like, that was really smart what he did. Like, I wouldn't have expected that. I couldn't see that. 